We were both as inept as each other with dancing. <laughs> <laughs> that really helped our friendship, I think, and our relationship on screen. You guys took my breath away in this. I've been playing Everlasting Love on repeat since I saw the film. Oh, it's a good tune. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, great tune. An incredible tune and just such a beautiful film. Family's really at the heart of this film. I mean, I smiled every time Pa said, if you can't be good, be careful. I'm interested to know, are there any life lessons your parents taught you growing up that always stayed with you? And my dad always used to say that life is not a race to the far end. Um, basically a way of it's sort of like, you know, um, tortoise in the hare type thing, or, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint, I guess his way of saying it. But um, I use that a lot when, you you know, especially in this industry where there was years where things weren't going as well and, you know, you you start to lose hope and, uh, you know, uh, you feel you feel you need to sort of remind yourself of something that, like, if you back yourself, and things, things will happen, you know. So that's the one I probably use the most. Um... Buddy's face whilst watching movies was so pure and I love the scene when you're all in the cinema watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Was there a certain movie you'd watch over and over again as a child? We watch, You know, I, I watched this film, we used to watch it all the time and thank God for Google and it took years of Googling and maybe more information being put online as the internet grew because we didn't know the name of it and all I could remember from it was that there were um, like little people in it and there was a point in the movie when a tree fell and someone shouted timber. I'm not joking. And that that was, an I used to say, we, my sisters used to talk about it all the time, going, what is that movie? We have to find out because we used to watch it all the time. Anyway, eventually um, we found it from uh, extensive Google search. I've never been more excited texting my sister saying, I found out the name. It's called The Gnome-mobile and it's a, uh, it's a Disney movie. And now we have it, I've made my, my kids watch it. But we used to watch it all the time. The Gnome Mobile, that was the one. That's amazing. You can all just sit and watch it together now. Yeah, all thanks to Google. Yeah. The power of Google. Jamie, your singing brought me so much joy. I feel like you're both annoyingly good at karaoke. Am I right? I don't love doing karaoke. I, I, um, I need to be really pissed and I really need to be with people that I truly know me and understand me. And saying that... I was filming out in uh, Adelaide, where I filmed this show called The Tourist. It's just come out, a uh, little, little plug for The Tourist there. Um, and uh, I ended up doing karaoke, a slight name drop coming up, with Alan Cumming, who was out doing a show out there. And uh, he said, I'm doing a party at a karaoke place. Do you want to come? And I said, look, well, it's just on a Sunday, we have to bring the kids. So I brought my kids to the karaoke, and they actually sang with a bit of help with me, uh, from me, they sang Let It Go from Frozen with Alan Cumming <laughs> at karaoke and it was one of the best moments of my life and it, it sort of washed over them what they were doing and who they were doing it with but um, it was the last time I did karaoke, it was, good, it was a good time. We need that video footage now. <laughs> I don't know if it exists. I'm annoyed that I'm not good. Um, no, I'm, I, you know, singing is not my, my forte. I, I have been known to occasionally at the end of a night sometimes uh, join in in karaoke, but I don't think anyone's that excited about it when it happens. It's funny, I feel like karaoke is a very personal thing. You need to match up. It's best to do a duet, I always think. It's best to like take someone take half, half the weight of it because it's, it's too exposing. I completely agree, duets are the way forward. I love how we see Belfast through the eyes of Buddy. Um, I'm interested to know, what's a moment from your career that you'd love to go back and show your younger selves? It'd probably be like a sort of uh, like a sort of uh, highlight reel of everything that's happened with this movie. How much love we've got for it, all the sort of madness that's surrounded it, and the awards craziness. You know that that probably speaking for myself will be the only time this happens in my career. So if I could have shown that one in those bleaker times when things didn't look like they were going your way. It probably, I probably could have, would have helped me to be like, no, look, they're going to love this thing one day. And the love between your characters is so, so strong. The chemistry is amazing. What's the best thing you learn about each other whilst filming? That we were both as inept as each other with dancing. <laughs> <laughs> that really helped our friendship, I think, and our relationship on screen was that it was, 
as unnatural for both of us to be um, dancing in time to, <laughs> to, to anything really. Um, that was particularly bonding. But like we're just lucky, you know, Katrina and I um, have a very similar way about ourselves, I think. And, you know, we're both from the same tiny island and we find the same things funny and make each other laugh and, and approach the work in the same way. And it really was um, very cohesive. Like we were always, every scene we had the similar plan for, a similar vibe for, you know, we were never combative with with um, where we wanted to take the characters in those moments. So um, it was it was kind of easy. Well, Jamie's such an open and generous actor. You know, he's got such a talent, but it's so easy within him. And, um, you know, it really felt like I always had such a safe dance partner, you know, figuratively and literally. Um, maybe less so literally, but <laughs> figuratively, definitely. Um, you know, it was a joy. It really did feel that way. You know, I think from the get go, we just sort of got along and, you know, it did feel really organic. And like he said, you know, every day we sort of were, were on the same page and we sort of wanted the best out of each scene. And, you know, Jamie's somebody who, who there's zero ego in his work, which is such a beautiful thing to, to be around. And um, it just made life really, really easy. Well, I just adored watching you both dance. Um, and this is really the most perfect, beautiful love letter to Belfast. If you could go to Belfast with one of your previous characters and kind of explore the city with them, who would you love to take with you? <laughs> Well, I've played quite a few characters from Belfast, so they don't need me to give them a tour around the city. <laughs> um, but uh, let me think. I'd probably actually take Christian Grey because he needs to be around people who are, who are fun and uh, he needs to let, <laughs> let loose a bit and have a few pints of stout and enjoy himself. I mean, I'd take Claire Randall, wouldn't I? Or Claire, Claire Beecham mm. Randall Fraser. Um, yeah, Why does she have she'd... so many surnames? <laughs> because she had a lot of husbands. <laughs> That's why. Right. Um, you got to watch the show, Jamie. I mean, she'd. I think she'd fit in really well there. You know, she gives as good as she gets, and and she'd uh, she'd be able to sit down and enjoy a pint of Guinness and a good a good Bushmills whiskey. I can so see that her just necking a pint. <laughs> Thank you, but guys. So. Thank you guys so much for talking to me and huge congrats on the film. It's an absolute masterpiece.